If you're new to email clients or to Microsoft Outlook, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the Outlook screen elements before you begin using them. Many of these elements are consistent with those in other Microsoft Office 2010 applications. For example, at the top of the working area, Outlook has a title bar and Windows control buttons. On the left end of the title bar is the Quick Access Toolbar, and it contains frequently used commands, such as Save, Redo, and Undo. It can be customized to include any buttons you want to have close at hand. For example, if you use the Forward command frequently, you could add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. The ribbon is located directly below the title bar and quick access toolbar and includes the tabs, groups, and buttons that contain most of the features and commands you will use. By default, Outlook opens to the Home tab for Mail, which contains many of the most commonly used commands. The other tabs are organized by function. For example, if you wanted to add a folder, you would go to the Folder tab. Let's take a look at it. This tab, like most of the others, organizes the buttons in groups that relate to a certain function. For example, the buttons in the New group all perform commands related to creating something new, while those in the Actions group relate to specific actions that can be taken. Clicking any button activates the corresponding command. Let's take a look at another tab. Notice that the buttons on the ribbon change when switching tabs. The buttons under this tab all relate to changing the layout of Outlook views. But since we are currently at Mail, the default component of Outlook, all of the buttons available to us only relate to email. However, if we were looking at the calendar, all the buttons would relate to it instead. Let's try another tab. While most of the tabs on the ribbon contain similar elements, the File tab is a bit different. It allows you to access the Backstage view, which is new to Office 2010, and it contains several buttons and tabs that allow you to perform many common Outlook tasks, such as printing emails, setting Outlook options, and more. Let's return now to the Home tab. The ribbon's buttons are context-sensitive depending on the area of Outlook you are in. The default component of Outlook is Mail. Mail has a vertical orientation, which provides plenty of room on the screen for messages. Starting from the left, the Mail screen includes the Navigation pane, the Message list, the Reading pane, and the To-Do bar. The Navigation pane is divided into three main parts while in Mail. From top to bottom, these sections are Favorite Folders, Mail Folders, and the View buttons. The Mail Folders section includes all of the folders that store your incoming and outgoing emails. The View buttons provide a convenient way to jump to different components in Outlook. The Inbox is an electronic mailbox. It's where you can view, store, and organize your email messages. As you can see, the inbox's contents display by default in the message list while in Outlook Mail. If you click a message in the message list, you can see a full preview of it in the reading pane. You can also preview attachments included with a message. This preview allows you to view an attachment without actually opening it. By default, the reading pane appears to the right of the message list. Let's click a message now to get a preview of it. The message we've selected is displayed to the right without us having to open it. If it had an attachment, we would simply double-click it to activate the attachment preview. This feature also helps to prevent any harmful attachments such as viruses or spyware from infecting your computer. There is also the to-do bar, which is minimized in the far right side of the main Outlook window. When the to-do bar is expanded, it offers a consolidated view of the date navigator, upcoming appointments and tasks, and a flagged message list. Unlike the other components of Outlook, the to-do bar appears in the same place in most views. 
Outlook 2010 has also introduced a new pane known as the People pane, located directly under the Reading pane. The People pane allows users to connect with their Outlook contacts through social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. This pane displays everything from messages to status updates. As you've just seen, the interface of Outlook is quite useful. We've looked at several features and enhancements that affect the overall appearance of the application, but there are many more features that enhance the functionality of Outlook as well. Take some time to explore all the features and how they can help you communicate more effectively.